Hey everybody, this is Taz from Drop Top Tees, and I got a box today from 500 Madness, or Madness Auto Sports, down in Spicewood, Texas. It is my front brake kit from Willwood. Um, Saxy already has one on, so show the wheel there on Saxy. You can kind of see how it's going to look, except this is going to be black. And uh, after we bought Saxy, man, there was a noticeable difference in how well Saxy stops compared to how well Hitsy stops. Hitsy still stops good, nothing like Saxy does. So it's one of the biggest differences between these two cars. And um, there's really three how well it stops. The fact that this has limited slip differential because it's in a bar. And because Saxy's wheels are very lightweight wheels, when you turn the wheel, it's way more responsive than it's. I mean, it's both these, both the braking speed and the and the and the turning ability on Itsy, they're still really, really good. But Saxy's on a whole different level because of uh, different mods that she has on her car. So I'm going to open this up and we're going to do an unboxing here and I will show you what all is in this front brake kit. And as always with my merchandise from Madness, if you look at the link, you will find a link to this product. Um, There's a link in the description of the video right below the video. So, got all kinds of Willwood stickers, man. They want everybody to know we got Willwood. Instructions, and let's look here. Now, if I'm lucky, I can put all this back in. And the other thing I did was this is something where where I won't get it back in right. Yeah. Cue Tetris music. Huh? Do Tetris music? Yeah. Cue yeah, Tetris. Right. <laughs> yeah, Tetris. I'm a great Texas player, but I don't know how I'm going to do it best. Mom's very good at it. I'm no good at it. Like, seriously, no good at it. This is funny. We will cut this out. Who <laughs> not? How did we get all this in here? Here's what we're going to do. <laughs> what? No, 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 no. <laughs> Not gonna. Boo. <laughs> My idea. Your idea's gonna work. Put that in the middle. Put this here. Put these down here. And these here. We need a packing. A little packing. And. The other thing we did, because the BL10 is strictly a street pad, the one that comes with it is strictly for street, 
And the reason I'm getting these is really twofold. I want the extra braking power because we've had several, I won't even say several, over the two and a half years we've owned Itzy, going on three years now, I guess three and a half years, we've had multiple times where people just pull right out in front of you and you need to brake as hard as you can because these people don't see her. And I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that. People do stupid things around these cars. The better your brakes, the better you are. But I also want to track the car a couple times and do some high performance driving schools. And in order to do that, I just wanted better front brakes because if you're out in the track very long with the stock brakes, you can conceivably not do not good. They'll, they'll start fading on you. And I noticed when I did Twisted Sisters, especially on the second day where we were driving Twisted Sisters for a long time, towards the end of the day, because just constant braking, constant braking, constant braking, I was starting to get some brake fade to where I really had to start approaching turns a little bit slower than I wanted to, because I wasn't sure if my brakes were gonna be able to slow me down enough. So I'm getting a uh, Hawk DCT, DTC 30s, which are basically an autocross light track brake. I wanted to try to find a sweet spot between daily driver and doing some spirited driving with it. And I talked to several people, several, um, like I talked to Goodwin Racing, I talked to some other vendors, and I kept, everybody was giving me the same advice when it came to the Hawk brakes was that these would give me better braking, they could handle light track, auto track, autocross, and at the same time, they wouldn't be creating so much dust, I would be cursing it as my daily driver. The other thing is, these come in where they don't have a warm up period, so unlike a lot of track brakes where you have to get them warmed up before they really start grabbing, um, I can back this out of the garage, go out in the interstate, and if I have an emergency stop right away, they're good to go, they're gonna stop me. So this seemed like the perfect sweet spot for me. And uh, probably next week I'll get them put on. Once they get put on, I'll show you how they look. And uh, there you go. Everything you need to upgrade your front brakes so that you can go out and if you're hitting canyons or something like that, these are, this is a good combination to use. As I said, if you're interested in it right now, I'm, I will say this at the time that I'm posting the video. Madness has a really sweet discount going on them. Um, so if you've been thinking about buying them, now's the time to go. Um, I don't know if you'll ever see the price this low again. So the link is right below the video. Like the video, thumbs up. Subscribe to see more. Have a good day, y'all.